Hey guys, Maximus here with A1WebsitePro.com and uh, so today, uh, you know, a lot of people are concerned about page speed insights, so I'm going to show you one step at a time, uh, different things to do. I'm not going to do everything right now, but today I'm going to show you how to minify your CSS. So if you go to Google Page Speed Insights and then you type in like A1WebsitePro.com and analyze, you're going to get a bunch of uh, suggestions and warnings and stuff like this. Now. I'm operating on a, off a of WordPress content management system on this particular site, a1websitepro.com. Just helps me manage my content. But you see this minify CSS and show how to fix, and then you get a lot of, uh, you know, things. A lot, of, you know, people have a hard time understanding what's going on here. So here's what you need to do. So log in to your dashboard. Okay. Now mine's I got the blue theme. Yours will probably be black or whatever and you go over to appearance and then click editor right away you're going to be given your style.css css stands for cascading style sheets and it's responsible for everything on your page where your header goes how your menus you know hover stuff like that you know along with javascript so anyway what you want to do is take everything underneath this uh little this is called a comment css okay and wordpress uses this and what you'll do is you'll take everything below these lines, okay? Just take it all. In fact, let me just go like this here because it's very, very long. And what it's telling you to do, and I'll show you here in a second what it's telling you to do. Come on. So ask him to copy a lot to the clipboard. There's another way to do this, but I'm showing you'd like the most probably comprehensive way to do it. So I'm just going to click copy like that. First of all, let me show you what it's talking about by minifying the CSS. Each one of these lines, even the spaces, uh, you know, the, a computer has to go down through this entire line. And what minification does is it puts all these lines together without any spaces. Okay, so we'll go to a CSSminifier.com. Okay, this is one that I I did earlier, but you but you just paste your entire CSS file in there, just like that. Okay. Now another th good handy thing to do is bring up your Notepad. Okay, and paste in your old code just in case you do something wrong. Okay. In fact, whenever you go to paste in your old code, uh, what I suggest is that you highlight everything in this click copy and uh, whenever you bring up your notebook your notepad once you paste it all in there so you, you still have the comments at the top too okay because that's very important for WordPress you see I'm using a 2014 theme okay so now I'm in the CSS minifier I'm gonna click minify alright now you notice it took all of that content that I had in there and it put it all on one line. Let me copy, and uh, I'm gonna bring up another notepad just to show you what it did. See how it put all the everything on one line, all that, all the CSS. So now it's a minified file with CSS. Okay. So now I'm gonna go back into Edit Themes. Okay. Now remember, we want to keep the, the the comment line at the top. We want to keep it in there. All right. So right after this comment line, now I'm gonna grab all of this. Now remember, if you screw up, you still have a backup on your notepad. So uh, make sure that you always keep a, a a backup up like that. Okay. So I'm going in here, all the way to the bottom, and I'm gonna hit Control V as in Victor on my keyboard and now I have my minified CSS in there. I'm going to click update file just like that. Let's see what happens to my site after I do that. Huh? Okay, so uh, let me explain something else to you here real quick. You have to keep these comment comments in here, okay? So you're not going to be able to minimize it to the Google page speed satisfaction where you're getting 100% or whatnot because you have to keep these comments in there because WordPress uses these comments to discern uh, style sheets for different themes. Okay, 
And one more thing too is when 2014, the theme 2014 updates, it's going to overwrite this style sheet and put the originals back in. Okay? So then you have to minify your CSS all over again. The, the other way to get out of that is create a child theme for 2014. And I'll show you how to do that in a later tutorial. But this will be good until 2014 updates. Now let's look at the PageSpeed Insights. Okay, so here was my PageSpeed Insight on minifying the CSS. You can see here, uh, follow these resources, uh, uh, minify these resources, and I could save uh, uh, three kilobytes or 23 percent of reduction. Okay, now after I did the uh, the mini the uh, minification for my CSS file. If we go down here, you can see that it's still asking me to minify my CSS. So it's a little bit frustrating because it'll still continue to ask you to do that. But you notice here, now I can minify it by 646 more bytes, which is a 6% in reduction. Well, what that is, is these comments right here. We can't minify these comments because they're not CSS. They're comments in CSS. When you minify CSS, it takes all the comments out. Okay? So all the, whenever you're using the CSS minifier, it'll take all those comments out of there. So I just wanted to, to make sure that you understood that. You are reducing your CSS. Okay? We went from, uh, you know, the ability to have a 23% reduction. Now we can only have a 6% reduction, but we cannot remove these comment lines. Okay? So that's, part of the uh, you know the pros and cons of using a content management system alright so maybe in the next tutorial we'll talk about uh, eliminate render blocking JavaScript and CSS and I'll show you how to do this on a website pro and of course we'll get to the mobile uh, mobiles a big time eliminate render blocking as you can see I got a uh, should fix on there so anyway I'm just going to continue to fix my site and share with you what I'm doing how we're getting these page beats insights. So this one was on minifying CSS. We'll go to the next one some later time when I have time. Okay, thank you, Max.